In this video, I will talk about how to create 2D arrays for matrices in Python for absolute beginners. I will start talking about what are matrices, how to create matrices, followed by indexing elements in matrices. You can find the timestamp next to each topic, and please feel free to skip around to find what you need. A matrix is a two-dimensional set of elements organized into rows and columns with square brackets. If you have n by m matrix, it means you have n numbers of row and m numbers of columns. Mathematically, the matrix can be written using square brackets with a two-dimensional set of elements having space between elements both horizontally and vertically. To refer to each element in matrix, typically we use two different subscripts. The first subscript i represents the row number, and the second subscript j represents the column number. So A01 means the element in the first row and the second column in Python. Let's talk about how to create a matrix. A simple approach is to use numpy array function with the square brackets in numpy. Since the matrix is a 2D element arrangement, we need to use comma as a column separator and the inner square brackets as a row separator. To create the matrix, you need to import numpy library as an MP. Then to create the matrix A, type A equals sign followed by MP array with the square bracket and element for the first row, and then continue to type the elements for the second and third row with the square brackets. And then you can print A. You can see the 2D arrays as a matrix A. You can check the size of matrix by using shape function. There are two outputs from the shape function. The first one for row size, and the second one for the column size. To save the two outputs, I use row and column. You can check the size of matrix A. Then you can print row, followed by row, column, followed by column. You can also check the total number of elements in the matrix by using size function. To check the total numbers of elements of matrix A, type size equals A size. And then you can print size. As you expect, you have nine elements. To access the elements in the matrix, you can use the square brackets with the row and column numbers with the comma as a separator. The first argument should be the row index number, and the second should be the column index number. Remember that the Python uses 0 as a first index number, and to access the element in the second row and third column, you can type a square bracket with 1, 2. You can see 5. You can also use a brackets or a column operators for multiple indices. For example, you can use square bracket 0 to access the first and 2 for the third rows, and one for a second column to see five and minus one. You can also use zero colon two for the first two rows and use two for third column. You can use colon only and it means it will select the entire rows. You can also use this approach for column indices. There are a few useful built-in functions to create the common matrices. First of all, the identity matrix is a matrix having elements of 1's in the diagonal position and 0 elements in the remaining. For the n by n identity matrix, you can use numpy i function. For 3 by 3 identity matrix i, you can type i equal sign followed by numpy i 3. You can see 3 by 3 identity matrix i. If you want to create n by n matrix with all elements of 1's, you can use numpy 1's n, m. Please make sure that you need inner parentheses to define the matrix size. In Jupyter Notebook, you can type b equals numpy 1's to comma 3 to build 2 by 3 matrix b with 1's. Make sure that you have inner parentheses to define the size of matrix. Similarly, you can create matrix C with all elements of zeros using numpy zeros and comma m. Again, make sure that you have inner parentheses to define the size of matrix. In Jupyter Notebook, 
type C equals NumPy zeros to comma 3 builds 2 by 3 matrix C with zeros. You can see 2 by 3 matrix C having all element zeros. If you have random numbers between 0 and 1 in your n by n matrix as shown in the slide, you can create such a matrices using random rand and comma m. To use random function, you need to import random from numpy. Type from numpy import random. Then type d equals random rand to comma 3 to build 2 by 3 matrix d with random numbers between 0 and 1. Then you can print D. If you want to rearrange the elements of existing matrix or vector, reshape function can be used. The reshape function requires the matrix, row, and column size that you want to reshape. For example, you can create a given matrix F by creating a row vector X from 1 to 6 as a dummy 1D array, then reshape it into 2 by 3 matrix by using F equals numpy reshape X comma 2 comma 3. You can start creating 1D array by having numpy array range 1 through 7. Then you can reshape x into 2 by 3. Then you can print f. The total numbers of the elements of the reshape matrix should be the same as before. You can combine existing matrices into one either column direction or row direction. To combine two existing matrices, the column or row size should be the same. I will show you how to combine matrices B and C in column or row direction. For matrix H, matrices B and C are combined in a row direction by using numpy concatenate function, followed by B by C, then you can type x is equal to 0. B and C are the array names, and that x is 0 means the row direction. When you print H, it will show the combined matrices in the row direction. For matrix J, matrices B and C are combined in the column direction. You can type J equals numpy concatenate B by C, x is 1. But you need to make sure that the x is 1 for combining in the column direction. You can see the result when you print J. You can keep adding the matrices as long as they comply the size of matrices. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.